iPod 4th generation internal battery replacement using the included flathead 4-way multi-screwdriver carefully pry open the bottom corner of the iPod carefully work towards the top of the iPod and doing the case clips as you go once all of the clips on the side are loose gently open the case and flip the main section of the iPod face down Using the included Torx wrench, remove the two screws at the end of the main board next to the power cable. Starting at the corner of the battery, use the small flathead screwdriver to carefully pry the old battery from the glue spots. Since there are ribbon cables underneath the battery, starting at the corner will reduce the risk of damaging them. Then slide the power cable around the main board. Disconnect the power connector from the socket while paying attention to the orientation of the battery in the case. You may need the tool to help. Insert the connector in the socket. Move the power cable around the main board to the original spot. Secure the new battery to the glue spots in the original orientation. Then replace the two screws using the Torx wrench. While supporting the hard drive with your fingers, flip the main section back over and snap the case back into place.